For changes in slope greater than three degrees as found in upstands such as adjacent walls, attics, or superstructures, the membrane must be mechanically fixed to the flat surface prior to the slope change. The transition sheet is then laid over the level surface to the wall surface. Membranes of various widths are available or can be cut into strips for this purpose. The overlap of the flat area must be 11 cm to securely hide the fasteners, and the membrane must have a minimum height of 15 cm on the wall. This is how the transition for an outside corner is prepared and installed. The transition membrane is first spot welded to hold it in position. Then it is completely welded with hand welder or automatic welder. Here we see how the inside corner is prepared. The vertical roofing membrane can be bonded with Custer Contact adhesive. This prevents the membrane from warping after installation and provides a smooth appearance. Stir the one component material before use. The adhesive is applied thinly to both surfaces with a roller or brush and allowed to dry. The membrane is then simply pressed on. A Custer wall connection profile is used to mechanically fix the top edge of the membrane. These are installed with self-sealing stainless steel screws. The top edge of the profile is sealed with Custer PU-Flex 25 to ensure that no water can penetrate behind the waterproofing membrane. TPO laminated metal sheets are available in 2s1 meter sheets or as 30 meter coils and are used for flashing details. The sheets are cut to the desired width and formed using a sheet bending machine. The waterproofing edge is always on the outside of the building. Stainless steel self-tapping and self-sealing screws are used to fasten exposed roofing membranes and flashing details. Here you can see that all details under the flashing cap are fully sealed. A full cap seal is generally used on exposed visible masonry where aesthetics are a concern. Alternatively, a drip edge is often applied to the outside edge of a roof or fascia, and the roof membrane is run over the edge. This saves material. The overlap is first spot welded to secure its final position, and then the membrane is cut flush with the outer edge of the roofing. It is then welded to the TPO drip edge profile. The details are then finished.